Hello everyone, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Top 10 Lore, the series where I list interesting tidbits of Star Wars lore in a Top 10 format. Today, we'll be uncovering the exact height of Yoda's Dagobah hut, which food members of the Jedi Order chose to eat, the most popular drinks in the Mos Eisley Cantina, and much, much more. So, without any further ado. The many bracelets scattered up and down the arms of the Geonosian leader Poggle the Lesser were far from decorative. In fact, they served to represent the number of prime hives under his direct control. The average life expectancy on Wobani's Leg 817, i.e. the Imperial Detention Center and labor camp Jin Erso was briefly imprisoned in on Rogue One, was merely five years. The top six most popular drinks at the infamous Mos Eisley Cantina were as follows. Tatuni Junko, a powerful hot beverage. Jawa Juice, otherwise known as Ardis, made from fermented banfahide. Yatuni Bosca, which was essentially fermented jubak sweat. Hut's Delight, a colorful slurry of aquatic organisms. Tatooine Sunset, yet another fermented drink comprised of fruits. And of course, blue milk. Following the Battle of Yavin, thousands of Imperial cadets were rapidly advanced into service so to replace those fallen in the destruction of the Death Star. 15 minutes and 42 seconds. This was the exact time Anakin Skywalker took to win the Bunta Eve Classic of 32 BBY. In Gungan society, whiskers indicated maturity. Moreover, older members of the species grew hair like finlets. The Millennium Falcon's military-grade Rectenna, which snapped off during the Battle of Endor, was replaced with a civilian model sensor dish. This so-called upgrade degraded the freighter's ability to detect and target hostile ships. The exact ceiling height of Yoda's small Dagobah abode was merely 1.2 meters, or 3 feet 11 inches. When using a specially fitted Celio Hyperdrive booster ring, Jedi interceptors could travel a maximum distance of 150,000 light years. And, last but not least, as a sign of good fellowship, many cultures shared food all across the galaxy. So, while out on assignments, members of the Jedi Order were encouraged to sample local cuisine. But that never stopped Padawans, Knights, and Masters alike from carrying dispenser tracks of concentrated food and energy capsules on their utility belts for instant sustenance. That's going to be it for today's inaugural episode of Top 10 Lore. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you enjoy this new series and its format, as well as which particular fact intrigued you the most. Until next time, thanks for watching.